Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I got some huge like Chicago Bulls free agent news surrounding Chris Dunn and Denzel Valentine. But before I get into that, make sure you guys are in my group chat. You know, it's the first link below the video. You know, on November 18th for the NBA draft, I'm going to have like a live chat so we can all watch the draft and all like talk about it or just if any teams trades up or if the Bulls trade up or trade down, you know, like I said, it'll be a live chat. It'll be cool to talk to you guys. So definitely join my group chat. Also check out my last video if you missed it. I was talking about Obi Toppin and other Chicago Bulls rumors going around. But yeah, let's just jump right into today's video because there's some big news in this video. You know, to start off with, Casey Johnson like did his weekly mailbag. And if you guys don't know Casey Johnson, make sure you guys follow him on Twitter. He's like the biggest Chicago Bulls insider. So if he knows any like little news or anything, like he's the he's the guy he's gonna know it before anyone else and in his mailbag of course you know bulls fans were asking him about our two free agents and denzel valentine and chris dunn you know the chicago bulls have to decide on them this offseason i believe the offseason is starting december 1st right or maybe right after the draft i saw it all depends whenever the nba season comes back and starts but either way you know like i said he's the bulls insider he probably knows a little bit more than any of us do and in his mailbag, he said, I wouldn't be surprised to see this like new front office and such extend the qualifying offer to Denzel Valentine. And, you know, I made a past video on Denzel Valentine. He was talking about his time in Chicago. You know, he's been working out this offseason. You know, Denzel has had his like past like years of like issues with injuries and such. You know, he was technically a lottery pick, but either way, I made a video a few days ago on him, or I'd say a week ago probably, and I did a poll, and it's saying that 57% of you guys do not want us to bring him back, which does surprise me. You know, I feel like Denzel Valentine would just, he'd fit well with this new offense and our new, like, organization. You know, Billy Donovan runs a really fast-paced offense, it, it involves, like, good ball movement, and I'm gonna be honest, the Bulls last season were one of the worst passing teams. And I truly believe that's one of the right. I mean, of course, I believe one of the reasons why is because Kobe White wasn't starting. But also Denzel Valentine, I'd say he was probably the Bulls best passer or like second best passer on the team. He just didn't play. You know, he didn't play for I don't even know. He was just in Jim Boylan's doghouse for some odd reason. You know, I'm going to be honest. He's not the quickest on the court. He's not the best defender. I'd say he's solid, but he's a very high IQ player. You know, he came from Michigan State. They were a great college when he played there. He just knows how to play the game. Like, I know any time that he makes, like, a goofy, like, floater or whatever, Stacey King always says, like, he's the old man dominating at the YMCA or whatever. And it's true. Like, I know a lot of you guys don't like Denzel, so definitely leave some comments or questions below about that. But I'm going to be honest, I expect the Bulls' new front office to, of course, you know, give him the qualifying offer. Hopefully he accepts that because I'm pretty sure it's, like, $4 million or something. It's pretty cheap especially for Denzel Valentine, you know, he was a past lottery pick, especially because he's a great passer. I, I feel like he could be the Bulls' sixth man, even if, like, say, I, I expect Otto Porter Jr. to start, but say he gets hurt, you know, Denzel Valentine is a very capable of, like, a starter, I'd say, if need be. But yeah, like I said, I believe Denzel would fit amazing with this new offense. You know, he's another ball handler. You know, he's a strong passer. Unlike Chris Dunn, I hate to say it, you know, this is some more big news. You know, while Chris Dunn has proved like, that he's a very elite defender on the defensive end, he just doesn't fit in well with any team on the offensive side of the court. I know last year, just any time Dunn was playing, it didn't help Jim Boylan like had him at the three guard, had him guarding small forwards because he's a point guard. Either way, he did lock up some small forwards, but at the same time on the offensive end, teams just didn't guard him. You know, they were daring him to shoot. And it sucks because I've always liked Chris Dunn, you know, we got him from the like Jimmy Butler trade package, but I'm going to be honest, I think it's time the Bulls let him walk just because I feel like some bad team's going to overpay for him. And so does Casey Johnson, you know, in, in his new mailbag, he was saying he just doesn't fit in with the new offensive error. You know, he's not a good three point shooter. And I'm going to be honest, he's been in the league for a few years now and his just his shooting percentages have just complete like they just haven't gotten better. They've just went down every season. He's just not a capable three point shooter and that really hurts his value in this league. 
and it doesn't help that he's been kind of injured every season you know he, he's always had these little tweaks and injuries and it doesn't help that he was the only like Chicago Bull that didn't attend like the Bulls bubble or whatever you want to call that you know their mini camp or training camp you know I understand that it was like because of his injury or whatever and he wanted to stay home you know stay safe and still rehab and he didn't want to take a chance and like get hurt in this like pointless like quote-unquote pointless Bulls bubble for like the offseason or free agency class so I don't blame him for that, but just the signs are not looking right, man. If like if you're a fan of Chris Dunn, I know I made a poll on him like four weeks ago as well. And I saw about 56% of you guys wanted the Bulls to bring back Chris Dunn. You know, I've seen that the Clippers and like Hawks are really interested in him, in him as well. I've made a future or uh, past video on that as well. Definitely check that out. Just all the signs kind of point towards like Chris Dunn not returning. It does suck. Say like the Bulls do let him walk, which I do expect us to. It does suck that the Bulls couldn't like at least trade him this past season like before the trade deadline or get like anything in return for him because I'm pretty sure like like I said he was part of the Jimmy Butler trade package but I'm pretty sure you were still like a top five pick I believe he was the fourth overall pick and that kind of sucks just to let him walk and the Bulls not get anything in return I mean we could always like re-sign him and do like a sign and trade with him to like maybe the Clippers but who knows man. But yeah, like I said, this was some pretty big news that Casey Johnson put out in his Bulls mailbag. Definitely check those out, you know. I need to make more videos just covering his mailbags because he always leaks out some like big news or like little news that is pretty important, especially with the Bulls offseason. You know, it does suck that we're not bringing back Chris Dunn, but I hate to say it. He's just, he can't do it on the offensive end of the court. Like I said, you know, team just didn't guard him and then it just hurt our other players on the court and then it hurt our spacing. I'm gonna be honest he's just not worth it you know like yeah he's a great defender just I don't know like I said it really just sucks that he can't improve on the offensive end and it doesn't help that he's been getting injured every season and also back on Denzel I expect the Bulls to try and like give him the extend or like the qualifying offer or whatever I wouldn't pay him more I doubt any other team has like serious interest in him I do feel like Denzel Valentine would play amazing in like a San Antonio Spurs type offense but yeah, either way, I believe this is a pretty important video. I mean, these are two of the like Bulls' biggest free agents this offseason. I expect us to at least try and bring Denzel back. I could see him walking because the Bulls just, they really haven't gave him a fair chance to play and like show his talents. Chris Dunn, I see like the Hawks or Clippers overpaying or like maybe the Lakers even. I feel like they all need a good defensive point guard. I don't see the Bulls bringing back Chris Dunn. Definitely leave any comments or questions below about today's video and all these topics I've been talking about. Also, comment below if you guys want the Bulls to bring back Denzel, Valentine, or Chris Dunn. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little video. Like I said, join my Bulls group chat. Also, check out my last video if you missed it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Have a good one.